Rapid climate change and global warming have accelerated the melting of ice on our planet. The alarming rate of glacier retreat worldwide and the thinning of ice cover in the Arctic and Antarctica have had an impact on the stability of Earth's ecosystems. However, it is precisely through the melting of ice that astonishing secrets of the past are being revealed to humanity. Scientists, archaeologists, and even ordinary people have been discovering incredible things hidden in the ice year after year. After all, there is a considerable amount of ice in the world. The Antarctic ice sheet alone covers around 14 million square kilometers and has a volume of 26.5 million cubic kilometers. And did you know that it contains around 61% of Earth's freshwater reserves? That means all the fresh water we see is less than half of what's available. The melting of prehistoric ice has unveiled the truth about extraordinary creatures, historical catastrophes, extraterrestrial microorganisms, and military relics. It has shed light on mysteries that even the greatest minds of our time have been unable to solve. Priceless artifacts, astonishing viruses, and ancient humans frozen in time. Countless unimaginable things have been discovered in the hostile and cold corners of the Earth in recent decades. In this video, I will tell you about several of these eerie and shocking findings. Enjoy watching! Remains of the Franklin Expedition the ill-fated Franklin Expedition is a widely known historical tragedy. The United Kingdom organized the Arctic Exploration Voyage led by Captain Sir John Franklin. In 1845, two ships named HMS Erebus and HMS Terror set sail from England. They were supposed to navigate through the Northwest Passage in the Canadian Arctic. The expedition met with disaster and both ships with a combined crew of 129 people suffered a calamity. Ice hindered their progress through the Victoria Strait. After being trapped in the ice for an entire year, the ships were abandoned in April 1846. By that time, about two dozen officers, including Sir John Franklin, had perished. The survivors set out for the Canadian mainland under the command of Captain James Fitzjames, but they disappeared without a trace. It was presumed that they also perished. However, three members of the expedition, John Torrington, William Brain, and John Hartnell, died shortly after the ships departed and their bodies were buried in the ice on Beachy Island in 1846 before the ships became trapped. Over a century later, in 1984, archaeologists exhumed their bodies in hopes of determining their cause of death. The corpses were remarkably well preserved, although they appeared gruesome, with distorted faces, wide open eyes, and severely frostbitten skin. Further studies suggested that their deaths might have been contributed by lead poisoning. Iceman Otzi Otzi is rightfully considered the most famous mummy in Europe. His remains were discovered by fortunate German tourists. They found the frozen body on the shore of a lake in the Otztal Alps on September 20, 1991. Otzi was laying face down on the ice, presumably hoping to be noticed. After initial analysis, scientists determined that the body was at least 5,000 years old. Further research revealed that Otzi died between the ages of 25 and 35. Initially, experts speculated that Otzi died from frostbite, but later they realized they were mistaken. X-ray analysis of Otzi's bone showed that an arrowhead was lodged in his left shoulder, and it's likely that blood loss was the cause of his death. Scientists also discovered that Otzi was not particularly healthy. Based on the condition of his body, the Iceman suffered from arthritis and helminthiasis, an infection caused by worms. The body of Otzi and his belongings are of great importance to science as they shed light on human life during the Neolithic period. 
Currently, Otzi's body and artifacts are preserved in a specialized refrigeration chamber at the South Tyrol Museum of Archaeology in Italy. To get a closer look, you can visit the museum and witness this amazing man who lived 5,000 years ago. Massive Mountain Range In East Antarctica In East Antarctica, hidden beneath the ice lies a mountain range called the Gamberstev Subglacial Mountains. It is located between the Antarctic Dome A, not far from the South Pole of Inaccessibility, and the most remote point from the Southern Ocean coastline. The range was discovered by the 3rd Soviet Antarctic Expedition in 1958 and named after Soviet geophysicist Grigory Gambutsev. Stretching 1,200 kilometers in length, the mountain range reaches heights of up to 2,700 meters but is buried under a 600-meter layer of ice and snow. These mountains are comparable in size to the European Alps. There is limited information about how they formed, but according to experts, the main features of the range were established nearly 34 million years ago. Computer modeling has shown that the East Antarctic ice sheet was formed by glaciers flowing from the Gambertsev Mountains at the end of the Eocene Epoch. Even today, these mountains remain invisible as they are still buried under a thick layer of ice. This fascinating discovery raises questions about whether this range was once free of ice and whether life existed there. Wolf Cub in 2016, Neil Loveless, a seasoned gold prospector, was digging through a layer of permafrost in a remote area of the Canadian wilderness. He hoped to uncover hidden precious gemstones or other treasures but found something entirely unexpected. The mummified remains of a wolf cub. Neil discovered the frozen wolf pump during the summer, so his immediate instinct was to place the body in a freezer and await the arrival of a paleontologist to study the peculiar find. Analyzing the wolf cub's remains, scientists determined that it was a young female. Surprisingly, her body was remarkably intact, with only the eyes missing. According to research findings, the puppy has a geological age of approximately 57,000 years, making it one of the oldest and best preserved wolf specimens ever found. Researchers believe this discovery is highly valuable and helps shed a light on how wolves migrated across Asia, America, and Europe. Inca Children La Doncella, the frozen body of a teenage girl who died almost 500 years ago, was discovered by archaeologists in Argentina in 1999. Analysis of the remains indicated that the girl did not die from natural causes. Scientists believe that she was sacrificed during a ritual in the Andes. During the burial, her head was adorned with a distinctive headdress and she was dressed in traditional attire. Furthermore, she was not found alone. Alongside her, archaeologists discovered two other mummified children's bodies. Together, these three mummies are known as the children of Yuyo Yako. According to experts, the teenage girl and the two children were left to freeze to death on the mountaintop as an offering to the gods. Scientists have also determined that they were given corn beer to drink before the sacrificial ceremony to induce sleep. Fragments of coca leaves were found around La Doncella's mouth. The Incas chewed these leaves to alleviate the effects of altitude sickness. This discovery has provided new insights into the daily life of the Incas. La Doncella is on display at the High Mountain Archaeology Museum in Salta, Argentina, while the mummies of the two children have been preserved for further study and analysis. The Largest Virus The largest virus known to humanity to date was discovered by a team led by Chantal Abergel and Jean-Michel Claverie from the University of Aix-Marcel. 
They found it in 2014 and named it Pethovirus. Although, like any other virus, it is microscopic, scientists have declared it is the largest virus ever encountered by humans. It is approximately 50% larger than the previously known largest virus, Pandora virus. Pethovirus was first discovered in a 30,000-year-old deep ice sample obtained from the Siberian permafrost. Reportedly, the virus was buried beneath a 30-meter layer of late Pleistocene sediment. Scientists were amazed to find that the virus was still active, despite being buried under the permafrost for 30,000 years. The virus was placed in a test tube along with samples of amoebas collected from riverbanks, and soon, the amoebas started dying. Upon detailed examination, scientists discovered that the giant virus had infected the amoebas. Undoubtedly, this is a very resilient virus, having survived for such a long time in the harsh tundra climate. However, it is reassuring that it does not infect humans, but scientists have expressed justified concerns about the potentially dangerous microorganisms that could be released as the thong permafrost spreads among humans. Viking Tunic The rapid melting of glaciers in recent decades has unveiled numerous artifacts of immense archaeological value to humanity. One such discovery occurred in the ice of Norway's Lenbrier Glacier, initially appearing as a mere rolled-up piece of fabric. However, it turned out to be a well-preserved tunic dating back to the year 300 CE. Along with this clothing item, arrowheads and other ancient hunting tools were found. The fabric bears noticeable signs of wear, including sewn patches leading archaeologists to conclude that several individuals owned and used this tunic before it was lost. It is the oldest clothing item found in Norway, with an estimated age of around 1,700 years. The tunic was made by stitching together two separate woolen fabrics. It lacks buttons or fasteners, as it was designed to be pulled over the head and worn like a sweater. Based on its place of discovery, the tunic's owner was likely hunting reindeer. Surgeon's Diary Whether you believe it or not, an old diary, most likely from Robert Scott's final expedition to Antarctica, was found embedded in ice. It was discovered in 2013 near the Scott Base Research Station. The book originally belonged to George Levick, a surgeon and photographer who accompanied Scott on his Antarctic expedition from 1910 to 1913. Scott himself was a British explorer who gained fame during the heroic age of Antarctic exploration. However, luck was not on his side as he perished along with his companions during their return from the continent in March 1912. Along the way, he took photographs. The now heavily damaged notebook contains pencil notes he made while examining these images in detail. It includes his annotations with dates, subjects, and details of the shots he took in 1911 at Cape Adair. Over 100 years, water and ice have deteriorated the notebook's binding, but the pages were separated, digitized, and meticulously restored. It was subsequently returned to Antarctica and is now housed at Cape Evans among 11,500 other artifacts. Remains of World War I Soldiers Wars often leave behind a trail of tragedy and destruction, regardless of the victor. One such tragic story is the fate of soldiers who perished in the White War. This war erupted between the Austro-Hungarian Empire and the Kingdom of Italy, both vying for control over a disputed territory in the mountains. During that time, temperatures sharply dropped and a significant portion of the troops was decimated by harsh weather and snow, with the whereabouts of many soldiers never being determined. No one knew if they had survived or simply perished beneath the snow. 
Nearly a century later, mummified bodies of approximately 80 soldiers who participated in this war were unearthed. Alongside human remains, numerous artifacts from the White War were discovered in the icy Alps. The last two bodies were found in 2013. During this frigid conflict, troops fought at elevations of up to 3,600 meters above sea level, enduring temperatures as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius. According to Marco Balbi, founder and president of the Historical Society of the White War, only a third of the 150,000 soldiers involved in the White War died in combat. The rest fell victim to avalanches, landslides, frostbite, and other illnesses caused by severe cold. After the war ended and the soldiers vacated the area, rescuers began expeditions into the former battlefield zone to collect any remaining war relics. To this day, objects and mummified soldiers' bodies are still being discovered in the region. Giant Squid in the distant Ross Sea of Antarctica, during the season when the sun does not set, a team of fishermen pulled a terrifying creature from the icy waters. It had tentacles resembling fire hoses and eyes the size of dinner plates. It was discovered at a depth of one and a half kilometers before the water's surface. The giant squid is one of the most elusive marine creatures. This specimen was the size of a minibus and weighed approximately 350 kilograms. The creature had been frozen for about eight months by the time it was found. Scientists began trying to thaw the creature, but it proved to be a challenging task. They had to use a forklift to hoist it into a water tank. The squid was a female, and each of its tentacles measured over 100 centimeters in length. Two of the tentacles could have been twice as long if they hadn't been damaged. The giant squid is widely popular in science fiction books and movies, so seeing it in reality is a true stroke of luck. These creatures are not only enormous, but also highly resistant. They can survive by catching just one fish every few months. The diameter of the Antarctic giant squid's eyes measures approximately 27 centimeters, making it the possessor of the largest eyes in the animal kingdom. Skeleton Lake Perhaps one of the most eerie mysteries unveiled to the world by climate change is the bone-filled pits in the Himalayas at an altitude of 5,029 meters. Located in the Trisol mountain range, the high-altitude Rubkun Lake belongs to the Indian state of Uttarakhand. Surrounded by rocky glaciers and snow-capped mountains, it is a popular trekking destination infamous for the hundreds of ancient human skeletons found on its shores. When the snow melts, the remains lying at the lake's 3-meter depth become visible. Initial studies indicated that these remains belonged to a group of people who fell victim to a legendary and brutal hailstorm in the 9th century CE. However, subsequent research revealed that the bones belonged to three distinct groups of people who perished in different events. These skeletons were first noticed by a ranger named Hari Kishan Madwal in 1942. The British government at the time believed that the bones belonged to victims of a Japanese invasion. Alongside the skeletons, wooden artifacts, spearhead-tipped rings, and leather slippers were also discovered. It became fashionable among tourists visiting the lake to take bones as souvenirs. The current authorities are attempting to halt this practice and preserve the area as an eco-tourism site. Glacier Girl The title would suit a lady, but in reality, Glacier Girl refers to a lightning-fast Lockheed P-38F fighter aircraft from World War II that belonged to the United States Army Air Forces. In July 1942, 
poor weather and limited visibility for six P-38 fighters from the 94th Fighter Squadron to return to Greenland while en route to the British Isles during Operation Bolero. The planes had to make an emergency landing on an ice field. In the challenging circumstances, the crew members eventually managed to survive but they were forced to leave Glacier Girl along with five other fighters and two B-17 bombers from the bomber squadron. Over five decades, the aircraft remained buried under an 80-meter layer of snow and ice until in 1992. After years of searching, members of the Greenland Expedition Society managed to recover Glacier Girl to the surface. The aircraft was transported to Middlesbrough, Kentucky, where it underwent restoration. After the restoration, it returned to the skies in October 2002. Currently, Glacier Girl can be seen at air shows in the United States, and expedition teams plan to recover the remaining aircraft still buried in the ice. In July 2018, Ken McBride and Jim Salazar from the American nonprofit organization Arctic Hotpoint Solutions reported that they had found another P 38 aircraft in the glacier. 30,000 year old seeds. In 2007, a team of Russian, Hungarian, and American scientists discovered seeds of the narrow leaf campion plant near the Kalima River in Siberia. Experts believe that these flowers originated from Siberia, and during the Ice Age, their seeds were buried in the permafrost by a squirrel. Both mature and immature seeds were found in the ice at a depth of 38 meters beneath the perennially frozen ground. Nearby, the remains of mammoths, bison, and woolly rhinoceros were also found in the sediment. Radiocarbon dating revealed that the age of these seeds is approximately 32,000 years. The viable plant material obtained from these seeds was used by a group of scientists from the Russian Academy of Sciences to germinate the flower. They aimed to analyze the plant and compare it with the modern species. The scientists discovered that these two plants are nearly identical, although the shapes of the flowers differ slightly. This incredible find has prompted scientists to consider that permafrost could serve as a repository of ancient genetic material, offering a chance to revive many currently extinct species. Mummified Mammoth Any fan of the Ice Age is familiar with the woolly mammoth, a huge ancient mammal that roamed our planet thousands of years ago. The remarkably preserved remains of a woolly mammoth were discovered by a reindeer herder named Yuri Kudi on the Yamal Peninsula in Russia in the headwaters of the Yuri Bay River. The reindeer herder intended to act nobly and hand over the find to the local museum, but his greedy cousin secretly sold the remains without his knowledge. Fortunately, scientists managed to locate the person who bought the baby mammoth and retrieved the remains, which surprisingly had suffered very little damage. Researchers concluded that this female mammoth calf had been in a frozen state for over 40,000 years. They named her Laiuba after Yuri Kudi's wife. The mammoth's body underwent thorough testing and analysis as scientists wanted to learn as much as possible about it. It was determined that she died at the age of one or two months, presumably by suffocating in soft river mud. CT scans revealed that the mammoth calf's trunk, mouth, and trachea were filled with mud. The hump of fat remained intact, which according to scientists helped regulate body temperature. Endoscopy and the examination of organ fragments indicated that the mammoth calf consumed its mother's dung and milk. Experts believe that the river flow transported it from its original burial site in the permafrost after water eroded the area. It is highly likely that the true location where it lay frozen for 40,000 years will never be found. Dead Zone 
It's of course no secret that ice can preserve life for millions of years, but is there a frozen place where no life exists at all? Yes, there is, and it's located in Antarctica. Experts cannot explain the origin of what they call the dead zone. During an Antarctic expedition, a group of researchers discovered a region on the icy continent devoid of any life. It can be considered the most lifeless place on the planet as even the microorganisms capable of surviving in the harshest conditions are absent there. Nematodes, a type of worm found everywhere except the transantarctic mountains of Antarctica, are notably missing. Researchers couldn't find a single fragment of living DNA. Initially, they thought it was an error and conducted multiple searches but the results remain the same. It seems as though life has never reached the dead zone. It could be due to extremely low temperatures, but no one can say for sure why this area, with a history spanning millions of years, shows no signs of life. That's all for me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell button. Your engagement means the world to me. Thank you for your attention. See you soon. Goodbye.